it's it's a very tricky question because it's it's heartbreaking. It's hard to say that this is yours. It was a thing that we combined it from Africa, from England, from all over the islands to create, to make it ours. It's a culture. It's, it's something that was created years ago that you don't want to lose. Gumbes is a very important aspect in Bermuda because it's it has a lot of rich history behind it. I feel like there's um, some misunderstanding with this outside of the culture that of I say benefit north of the culture. I'm him and I hear the drums. The first thing we're doing is listening to where they're coming from and we're putting on our clothes, we're running. We're going. We're going to follow the gun base. You got people come out in their pajamas and, and follow the gun bears going way up the road. No transportation to get back with a gun. I decided to be a gun bay. Uh, it started next door to my house. My sister was a part of um, the group because she was married to um, Alan Warner. And I lived next door and just took upon myself to just join. I'm a founding member of Gun Bay Warriors. I've been actively a Gumbe for about 30 years. I've always wanted to be a Gumbe. My uh, family bought out a group in 1957, um, which is places Gumbe's. They're currently the oldest group um, going right now. As you see on the shirt, we're celebrating 65 years this year. There are some things in Gombe's that um, the public or the regular person that's not in Gombe would um, not know. It's it's a spirit type of thing. We're doing tribe dances and stuff like that. There is no such thing as a generic Gombe. I do identify myself as an artist because it's an art form of what you're um, performing. Being an artist is, is you, you get your fans, um, people that respect you as what you do. It's, it's very time consuming when you're making masks. So if you want to be an artist, you have to sit there, you have to make your measurements. For his pants and the cape and skirt, his waist and everything, you, and his also thought he knew what he wants. Some, some groups actually take time and put a lot of effort into what they are doing. So when people see their, their artwork, it's, it's, it's a representation of the group. A gun base suit costs anywhere between 400 and you could pay up to 2,500, 3,000. It just depends on the, the quality of the suit or the, the, the amount of time, the presses put into the suit. Obviously, her living in Bermuda, things are expensive. You know what I mean? So the velvet and the material and all that you gotta buy, the wool or the French. But then it's the time you're spending into it. Our culture one Gumby is as our culture been bags, shirts, hats, cups, mugs, keychains, cigarettes. With the law that's in place right now um, in regards to copyright and stuff like that, it would be helpful if people came to the group that they were taking the picture of or from and putting it on a t-shirt. 
to just reach out and show respect on the amount of work that this person has put in to make their costume look the way it does, enough for you to take it and throw it on a shirt. The limitations on copywriting for Gumbays, it's a very tricky question because it's hard to say that this is yours because it's small little details that you can change uh, a scarf from red to blue or from left to right and make it yours. Even with copyright, after so many years, it becomes public. But it hopefully it can come around to everyone collectively on the same page and we can all be together from there. People don't understand the, the, the time and the effort and the, the work that goes into performances or just the, a group being a group in a hill for them to take a picture, take a video and sell it off. I think people buy it because by the the image or the, the gumbe picture is because it's beautiful, they like it. Uh, um, you don't see that all around the world. This shirt right here was made by Abel Branco. It's a very uh, beautiful shirt of one of the founding members of Warner Gumbes. And it's a representation of her work, which she showed us and actually gave it back to us in order for us to wear it. It's a perfect example of someone that asked to make this um, artwork. And every every sale that she uh, makes, she gives a, a donation back to the group, which is very respectful. I feel um, artists should give back to the Gombe's. When artists are drawing any type of Gombe, we as the Gombe or drummers can recognize our uniforms. We can recognize our shapes, our faces, and our thing is basically just be honest and just approach us. We're very friendly and <laughs> we just we just want our, our rights, you know what I mean? I would hope that the people that sell the t-shirts with regards to any any group that is um on the shirt, I would hope, and I say hope because you can't necessarily tell someone that they have to, but it would be appreciative if they got the knowledge of who is actually on the shirt, what it what it is that um, the, the culture of Gumby means to them. Because I would love if someone's selling a shirt to to a foreign person and they can give an answer as to what it is on the shirt and what it means. So if you're looking for a way to support us as Gumbias, learn more about us, each group. You know what I mean? Tell your friends, tell visitors, go into the history of Gumbias and see where guys actually come from. Because some of us are doing it to carry on what a family has left us. Some of us are doing it for the love. But we're all one as Gumbias, even though it's different groups, and we love each other.